Sir, holy shit. Jeez, what's going on? <laughs> oh, no. I gotta be nice before I can be through. Okay, work your way into it, eh, Bob? No, I gotta be nice to him first. Be nice, it's my will. <laughs> For Jimmy O'Ron. <laughs> Come on aboard, boys. Where are you at? Where's everybody doing late? Where's the girls? What? And doing their makeup, dear. Getting the Botox in them. <laughs> I, I heard if you suck on a scalp, the same thing as Botox. I'm not sure it's true. But, uh, you know, everybody goes down the wharf now in the spring. Don't, uh, you know, you end up with some kind of sculpting phase on you. Don't, don't blame me. <laughs> I tell you, it can't be any worse. No, <laughs> sir. Is that true, Pop? Hey, how you doing? If you lick the sculpting, you're, you clears oh. up your face and everything? We'll clear it up, please. <laughs> if you licks the sculpting. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Was it any good for you, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? There you go, see? Poppy, Pop. Poppy, you said. Well, the top said it got the truth. Come on in, boys. 853 on there. A couple more. We got the Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens on for the last time this year. Thank the Jesus. <laughs> I'm predicting a 5 to 2 victory. For my Toronto uh, Maple Leafs, they're playing at uh, start seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Not on yet. What's down there now? Uh, San Jose and Edmonton. Early for them. Oh, look who's graced us with their presence, Lauren. That's the gene. You're all buttered up now, you girls. Yeah. All buttered up there. Is that microphone on, Lauren? Yep. It is now. Where are you going now, Ro? Oh my god, boys, we'll never get this. The show will be over before it starts. <laughs> boys, hope everybody had a good Easter. The Easter Bunny comes tomorrow. Everybody got the big feed cooked in. I seen on TikTok there was $7.99 for a fucking head of cabbage. Honest to Jesus, my son, I'm telling you. See the head on TikTok? Mrs. gets in the car, she's like, Marty, you wouldn't believe how much this cabbage is. I don't know, $2.99? No. Nope. $3.99? No. Nope. $4.99? Seven for, for $7.57 or something like that. $7.49. Shout out to Jesus. Hope that cabbage is going to be cooked the whole dinner by itself. <laughs> Are you uh, going to play tonight or what? <laughs> you stand there and uh, we'll hold it to look pretty. All right, boys, we get around to go. We got a thousand under. Yes, indeed, we do. Look. Okay, I don't know. Happy Let's birthday going out to Paulette, a Welshman from Lassie, Newfoundland. Lassie, Lassie. On uh, April the 4th, from Clifford, Kyle, and Kelsey, and also going out to Jeanette Langdon of Gulches, celebrating her 34th birthday, April the 7th. Love from your mother and your father and Macy. There you go, boys. Let's just go and have a drink. And a one, another two, and a three. Happy Easter. Sociable! Are you ready? Little we'll song going to Mr. Wilfred Cynics. Good time goes, would you come out tonight? Or come out tonight, or come out tonight. Good time girls, won't you come out tonight? We'll dance by the light of the moon.
start with. <laughs> How's your vocals? Wound up? <laughs> You're there to tell them. <laughs> Four rock days more than they should be. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I am, boy, I've been working all day. <laughs> Get one. Nice slow ones there. Yeah. Nice slow ones there. <laughs> See, the sun comes out, roll got the whip out. Yeah. Whoosh, whoosh. And do you reset the rotor? Because that seems laggy. I did. You did? Mm -hmm. You reset your phone? Mm -hmm. Are we going to go on the internet? Mm -hmm. Get off the internet, please. Thank you. No internet access for you on the Saturday nights. Go up to the door and play soccer or something. Go, go find something to do. Go play in the street oh, or something. Play tiddlywinks. Don't touch that. Oh, geez, I'll give you the lick of them. Now, grandmother on you, you're being, not being a nice girl. She won't let you come home this summer. It's a little too wise from the fan from up there in Labrador, Goose Bay, I believe. Is it Goose Bay? Yep. A little too cold. Comb your hair a flat down. By the flummies. For all the mulligans. Yeah, more than 20 years ago. 
Happy anniversary, uh, Marie and Jerry Davis, originally from Norris, are now living in Toronto, Ontario, celebrating their 39 winter anniversary on April 7th. Love your daughter, a Crystal. Here's a little tune by little Harry Hibbs number. Happy anniversary, boys, and a one and a two winter tree. So, so. Get around, boys. Share it around. Lots of people still can't get on. I think they're on the wrong page. I think they're on one of them reasonable facsimile pages. <laughs> but uh, share it around. Folks can get on there. Share it to your messages. Share it to your mother and your father and the people that all those kinds of people that can't uh, don't really understand how to use the old uh, internet and that kind of stuff, like me. <laughs> Turns it on like last week. <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> Here's a little tune for you, boys. Happy anniversary.
tune that play once, do. I suppose Ronnie had two naps. Too many. Oh, I'm going to go find out while I'm setting this up. <clears throat> Gee, should I find out where I'm looking? Oh, good morning. Uh, birthday greetings are going out to Mr. Jeff Warfield from Charlottetown, Newfoundland. From your family and your friends. And happy 73rd birthday to Wavy Murphy from Charlottetown, Newfoundland. From your family and your friends. I believe there's Jeff's family and friends too, but that's okay. That's okay. all kinds of family and friends. The more the merrier. The more you got, the more Christmas friends you get. I mean, the, <laughs> the merrier, yes. <laughs> The more family and friends you got, the more liquor you get in your stock. <laughs> or your Easter basket. Easter basket. Mr. Polly B, are you ready? Seven great points. Happy birthday. Let's see what was again. Jeff Warfield and Mrs. Weeby Murphy. God love you, boys. Happy birthday and a one and a two and a three. Social.
Well, the day that we brought you home from the hospital, a rose petal landed on your head and we called you Rose. Oh, she says. Then Lily piped up and Lily says, Mom, what did you, what did you name me Lily? She said, well, the day that we brought you home, a lily petal blew out and landed on your head and we called you Lily. And Cinder Black looks up and goes, Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> And you know the rest of it. <laughs> and off the hell I go. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> it's so funny, though. Oh, you're fucking cruel, I can't even do it. <laughs> yes, I'm going to hell. <laughs> Oh, 
know what this thing has come from, you man. I hear. Stop, I'm going to piss my pants. Surely <laughs> back, Bridge. Happy birthday going out to me, brother-in-law, Mr. Dwayne. Break a God love you, my son. Dwayne turns the young age of 53. 53 years old, Dwayne. You're on the wrong side of everybody. I'll downhill or up you. That depends on much why we got it. Downhill or up you. Uh, happy birthday, Dwayne, my son. God love you from us and your, your lovely, lovely, darling wife, Edie. And the youngsters and grandmother and grandfather and your mother and father and grandmother and grandfather and all the crowd, all of us. God love you, Dwayne. Have a drink to you, buddy. And a one, and a two, and a three. <laughs> Sociable. Stop, bro. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Dwayne, my son. Hope you had a dandy. So, tune for you, my son, called The Country Heroes. Ready?
that, that. Perhaps whoever typed that in, boy's got a stuttering problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do. You've got to take everything in the country these days. Can't be judgmental. <laughs> could be worse. Could be sitting there by. Stop. 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 No, stop. I, bro, that's not nice. <laughs> I suppose you pays the bill, it is. <laughs> Happy birthday to Wayne, <laughs> Wayne Lefty of Erishad, Nova Scotia, on April the 9th. Love from uh, your wife, Sandra. Uh, Wayne, God love you, my son. Happy birthday from Sandra. And happy 19th birthday to uh, Laura Lee Aboudreau of Lower Sackville from her friends and her family. God love you, Wade and Laura Leah Baudreau. And a one and a two and a three. So suppose. <laughs> For you folks from Nova Scotia, we're going to play a little Nova Scotia tune for you. <laughs> That's the worst Nova Scotian accent I've ever heard in life. Something that buddy gets under says, I'm not a Newfoundlander. Eh? <laughs> My name is George. There's no tune from the Rankin family. Thank you. 
was good tune, boys. Ah. I'm not a few shots out of you, wouldn't I? There's a joke about uh, Rob and his body. Go ahead. Uh, Rob and his body at uh, Jack, see? Uh, they work in the fish plant. Anyhow, uh, the manager said, boys, there's going to be a few cutbacks. So he called Jack in first. He said, you know, we're going to have to cut back Jack and uh, probably have a few layoffs. And so, well, he said, boy, I suppose that's all we can do. So he called Rob in next. He said, Rob, boy, he said, I got some bad news. He said, he said I'm either going to have to lay you or jack off. And uh, Rob said, boy, you're going to have to jack off because I got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Got your back, Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you might be listening, but there's lots of other people listening. That's right. Yeah. Watch me, Rob. Watch me. Yeah. Rob's like, sorry, Rob. Yeah. Okay. Here's old two going out to. Birthday wishes going out to Tina from Donald on April the 8th. God love you, boys. And I also going out in memory of Mrs. Jane Stone, who's a longtime listener. Uh, love your husband, Harold, and your daughter, Crystal. Here's a little tune that Rowie and the Turner is going to do for you. The pride and joy of Joe Harbert, Newfoundland. Simple yeah. drink, boys. Sorry to mean to be greedy. And one or two in a tree. Sociable. God love you, Miss Jane, up there in heaven.
Sylvia down there in St. John's. So we drink to you, Cecil, my son, in the morning, or do it a drink.
A score game pops on you or no? No, not on you. And a two and a three going up to you, Mr. Gary Greenham from Lewisport, Newfoundland. And a one and a two and a three. So, so go. Go. <coughs> try a little tune called The Fighting a 59. Are you ready? Checking him out already. He's 53 now. Eh? He's getting up there. And he's a few checkups, a few pokes and prods here and there. Anyway, not getting details, but goes in for a full checkup, eh? He's always in there getting his checkup and doctors checking him out and checking this and checking that. He says, Now, Dwayne, take off your shirt now. Put the stethoscope on you. And I listen to you in a few spots. And he's, then Dwayne takes off his shirt. And doctor puts the stethoscope on, he's listening to his lungs and listening to his heart and listening to all over his body and his stomach and get somewhere down around his liver, right? He says, Dwayne, you're going to have to give up drinking. Dwayne says, well, I don't even drink that much. He says, boy, according to the stethoscope, you got to give up drinking. So he says, how can you tell that from a stethoscope? He said, Dwayne, i got to tell you right now. He said, your liver is so shriveled and black and dead so I swear when I put this testicle down there, it said, What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> oh, my Jesus. You're <laughs> Anyway, that joke's not for everybody. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? He's never late for mine. Sort of what the... <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, uh, this show was not tasteful. Don't advertise to be. But that's, uh, you know, that's how it goes. People send me in these jokes, boys. I don't make them up. 
Different strokes. What you talking about, Willis? Woo! I was just your pants again. Here's a little tune boys going out to Peyton Dominey. Out there in Grand Falls, Windsor, celebrated birthday on April the 7th. Greetings from Uncle B and <laughs> St. Jack's. Also from Mom and Dad and your sister Sierra. Also from Nan and Pop Wells out there in St. Jack's, Newfoundland. I love ya, Mrs. Peyton Dominey out there in Grand Falls. We are going to ask you guys to drink the other one and a two and a three. So slow! He's going to try a little a Simon and Garfunkel doing for you. Polly's going to be Simon, I'm going to be Garfunkel. <laughs> and the girls can be the Wilson sisters. Yes. internet quality but right now it seems like it's all right so you might want to hop out and hop back in again on your own end Let's see if that helps well, it's good. Yeah. here's a little one of our own tunes folks coming up for you we played it last week we'll play it again this week because someone asked for it <laughs> where are you going that's oh, the guy you're in a band your bladder can't hold up to playing in a band. Out he goes. That band get out of the <laughs> Or we'll get a hose. Doesn't matter. 
Happy birthday, Mrs. Uh, Mayor, uh, Marie Jovenini. Marie Jovenini, she was, she was living in St. Lawrence for a while, didn't she? I believe she did. Miss Marie Jovenini, whose birthday is on <coughs> April 8th, originally from Aron Contra East. Now living down there in Hollywood, 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 Hollywood. Down there in Hollywood, you know what I'm doing for the bay. Living in Holyrood from her husband Edward and your family and your friends. God love you, my girl. Here's a little tune wrote a few years ago. It's on the FM and the VOCM and the Lemon Lean 97.7 FM. I'm tuned in. Joe FM. <laughs> <laughs> God love you, my girl. And a one and a two and a three. A sociable. Just saying Paul had two, but that's okay. It almost count. I drink Paul too. <laughs> True enough, he took one for the team, mate.
What are you barking up? What are you at there, boys and girls and kids of all ages? Come on in and sit down. Look. Come in and sit down. What beer you talk to Craig like that? All ages. Hey, Sunshine, what's going? What do you got today? <laughs> so poor, old, poor old teen that's horn and ends up in jail, eh? You hear about that? Hear about that in the news, Wolf? No. Yeah, his teen ended up in jail. I got the disease fixed. Yep. She got arrested for, for murdering poor old Greg, eh? It's a true story. So the cops come her in anyway and got her and locked her up and brought her in and locked her up until the court date come. And the court date come around. Tina gets up in front of the judge. She's the lawyer gets up there and says, "Well, Your Honor, she's pleading, she's pleading guilty, but she wants to get off because of insanity." So the judge looks at her and says, "Okay, well, get up on the stand, Tina. Tell us your story." So the lawyer gets up there and she says, "Tina, she said, what was the first thing on the day that you killed your husband? What was the first thing Craig said to you in the morning of his death?" He says, well, he says to me, when he woke up, he says, you see my pants in the room, Sheila? I <laughs> <laughs> says, case dismissed. Ready to go. <laughs> Done deal. Case gone. Not first time you have a kill, it was a bite. Sheila, you see my pants? <laughs> I got to love you, boys. Thanks for coming over. Got no again. I'll be on the pieces. Someone want to come over. Visit you. Can I come? No. She can if she wants. No, no, I don't mean there. I mean... No, she can come over if she wants to have a little pee. She just wants to come over and see us. Gotta be careful. Happy birthday, Mr. Clayton Longford, who turns 60 years young on April the 6th from your lovely wife, Carol Ann, and all your family and friends. Pa, who sings this? Me or you? Jesus, I'm not saying this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Clayton Longford, here's a little tune for you, a little tune called The Wandalee. We'll give her a go. Happy birthday, my son, and a one and a two and a three. So shabo! Like right now, I'll do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> you do. Dory Man, and Mr. John Drake in the door. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 There you go, boss. Once she dumped down. Cooper, go fetch. He's like, is that a tree? Biodegradable. Cooper picks up. Less mesmer here. WKRP. Happy birthday, Mrs. Uh, Catherine Conway of Point Lance, who turns 90 years young on Saturday, April 8th. Love and best wishes from your three children, Wilfred, Freddie, and Florence. Your three grandchildren, and your one great, one great grandchild, and your son-in-law, and all the crowd, and all the gang, and all the clique, and us up here in Ontario, and the old KB in the cave, and Craig Tart and Tina. <laughs> Wishing you many, many good years. God love you, girl. Happy 90th birthday. And a one. And a two winner trade. So shall Let's go over. Little piddly pop. Smoking a bee. Smoking a bee. Oh, 
We will play a little tune, a little mini white tune. This goes out to your lovely Colleen Howe. This is in the key of D. Get your D a cardine, a Colleen, when you're ready. We'll play a little mini white tune. This one's called. Maybe I don't know how to play that thing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> he asked me, so is this how it goes? I'm like, that's not stop. That's not stop. That's good. That's not stop. Oh, that's working, Pop. That's good. It's the word's not coming up at all. Are you ready? For a little a mini white tune. Are you ready, Colleen? Yes, she's ready to go. I see her all the way up in the runs like. I see ya. I see ya. <laughs> Adventure, Newfoundland. Pop. Come on up, pop there from Trinity Bay. Oh,
summer's evening when the sun is gone down. On a warm summer's evening when the sun is gone down. That's the Portrait Bay Suns. Mayflowers. I don't ever play that one before. Yes, you played it a million times. <laughs> All right, buddy, give her. It was two weeks for Christmas, I remember the year. A boy and his girlfriend, they stood on the street. For tomorrow, we were proving to go out on the floor. Saying, I will be back when the robins come home. I will be back when the robins come home. I'll have enough money.
play the chord again. <laughs> I'll just play as long with you. <laughs> I think it was Jimmy's fault.
the old tickle trump there, Paco. Did you hear old man old woman yet? Yeah, you know what I'm here in the old cave. Try a little Steve Hurl tune for you, like he says up there, like Steve Hurl. You know Steve Hurl. <laughs> I can say that, so you got a guitar in his hand, can't poke me in the boat. What do you call that? Happy birthday, and my son, and a one, and a two, and a three. So, so, so. Well, I took 
this road on the old long walk of the A I A I A. Yeah, I met a little girl in the stop and talked about a fine song B I A. Well, I ask you, friend, what the fella do? Yeah, the hair was long and her eyes were blue. Can I do right there? I'm taking the first. Whoever that live store is, block them for life, ban them, report them to the pedophiles, or whatever you got to do. Mom. What? Can I have the phone? We get keep going. Get him out of here. Get the Jesus is what I gotta say. Get the Jesus out of here tonight. Get the Jesus right out. Get the Right Woo! Happy birthday going up to Daryl Ashford, who is turning the big 42 on April 11th. I played Dark Saturday night. I must have got 42 <laughs> seven times in a row. Maybe maybe 10 times in a row. Second tardy. 42. 42. 42. <laughs> Happy birthday to Daryl Ashford, who turned the big 42 on April 11th. Love from his other half and his better half and his best coin half, Terry Lynn. Can I say one? You can say whatever you like, girl. This is this is not Justin Trudeau's house. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> this birthday too is going out to Roy Elliott. It is from Family of Friends. He turned seventy-one yesterday. Happy birthday, Roy. <laughs> Who's that knocking on my door? Or is Abby going upstairs saying? Is it you again? Coming back. So Roy and uh, who's the other one? He's 42. Roy and Daryl, God love you boys. Happy birthday. And a one and a two and a three. 
Hudson's Island. <laughs> There's the, the river. He cut them all down. He did. That's what's called mine. Yeah. That's what he does. He don't read anybody. Yes, sir. You good at him. <laughs> Happy seven! Oh, what are we do? Happy seventy fifth birthday, Tip. God love you, my son. Uh, from all your family and friends in Austin, the old MKB in the cave, and all the crowd from all around the bay hanging out, wishing they were from Long Beach. <laughs> and I wanted to do it straight. So oh, sure. For you, Mister Tip Strain, we're gonna try a little stomping Tom Connors for ya. And it's called uh, The Man in the Moon. is in. Happy birthday going out to April Sturge and April the 27th from your sissy Tammy and all your family and friends. Boys, you got that snuck that in early. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Usually I see that later, so I send it in next week. <laughs> but God love you, girl. I 
Mrs. April Sturge. We'll have a drink to you and a one and a two and a three. Those are Now we practiced this song, I'll be honest with you, about three minutes before we went on. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, whatever it is, it is. Two to nothing, Tranto, just saying. Two to nothing, Tranto. Make believe Tracy Roll and Will Cynics and Tyler Tarrant and all that crowd, eh, boy? He knows that crowd. <laughs> Rope, be careful. No, no, no. Rope, be careful. Yeah. 
Stuff's going to happen bad. Stuff's going to happen bad. <laughs> she laughs like Mrs. Brown. <laughs>
one, and a two, and a three. Sociable! Okay. Also, happy birthday to uh, Kelvin Tuff, my next door neighbor from back in Newfoundland. We're not singing happy birthday, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Manila Ginger Ale. I had a dive one time, did that? Put him down. Wait, 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 Nope, you just let her go. That good pop, eh? It's like Murray used to make, eh?
<laughs> we'll try this little tune for you boys. I don't know what kind of shape we're in now. Try this, but we'll give her a go. <sighs> Mars heating up over there. She's overheated, she is. Take her home, pal. Take her home, son. Take her home. That shot kicked in. <laughs> That's all it took. I buy you. I buy you forty. You know what I want for my birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday, Mrs. Etta Brown, up there in El Aberdeen, Scotland. Look where the Scotland is. Own Scotland. Where's her Scotland hat? I'll put one on just to say this birthday to her. I think you do love him. Yeah, get the beer. Get the beer, Archie. Get the beer, Archie. She said these hats over there, didn't she? What we put on? Yes. Maybe a little bit more, Joe? There they go. You're really going to feel the heat, my son. Oh, yeah. There they go. There they go. Mrs. Open up. Happy birthday to Mrs. Etta Brown out there in Aberdeen, Scotland. Aberdeen, Scotland. I don't know how to get the Scottish. Is that Scottish enough for you? I need Gord over here to get the Scottish. Where, where's my buddy Gord? Gord. Was it a reckon? Happy birthday to Mrs. Etta Brown out there in Aberdeen, Scotland. Celebrating her birthday on the April 7th. Love your sister, Mary. And Michelle and all the boys down there in Stravenville. <laughs> I know I shagged it up a thousand times, but that's the best I can do. Here's a little tune for you. This is Edda Brown. It's called Home and to Daddy Girl. Paul, that fits you like a charm, man. It looks like 1989, Paul Bennett. It's like ACDC. This goes out to the lovely Edda Brown out there in Scotland, Aberdeen, Scotland. Let's have a drink to you, and I want to have a tool on the city. The social! I learned that Scotty's accent from uh, Johnny Reed. I had the bird in the cupboard that I fell out of the water. <laughs>
place I was born in. No matter where I go, it's in my She's a dandy. Awesome. Here's that I'm going out to uh, Mr. John Macy, living up there in Labrador City, Newfoundland and Labrador. From your wife, Lenora, probably working in the iron ore mile up there with uh, the lovely Tanya. You probably know who she is, eh, Tanya? Look out for her. Look out. She's a terrorist. <laughs> A little tune we rolled a little while ago when we had Johnny Reed tied on in there in the back porch. A little tune <laughs> called... And Mr. John, God love you, Mr. John Turner. God love you all of the bases. And a one and a two and a three. This is how it's going. And This little tune is going out to all the Newfoundlanders in the house tonight. Air new blender here tonight. <laughs> Little tune called I Am from Newfoundland. Are you ready?
was not fit. Not fit. Woo! In a mission yet or what? <laughs> Period over. To go down the section a little too, Mr. Polly B. Bennett is going to do for you as wise. Going out to the lovely Sylvia Hannums. <laughs> this is in St. John's there, Newfoundland. This is Sylvia, here's Polly B. Bennett, the pride and joy of Grand Bank, Newfoundland. I'll sing you a little tune called... She sings this to Mars every night. Says this tomorrow every day. Eh? I love you best when you says nothing at all. <laughs> That's the meaning of the song. Yeah. That's what it means, Jimmy. You, you, you got me. <laughs> you ready, Wally? I think Zip. Here, all he talks about is going back home. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Poor old Terry Quinn, eh? <laughs> Poor old Terry Quinn, he's waiting for the first good day of spring to come work golf and hang. Oh, what are you doing, boy? Yeah, right? <laughs> so, anyways, he's always taking down the grads for his gear, eh? And getting his balls out and blasting them right, like you would. <laughs> So anyway, he's getting ready to go golf, waiting for the boss to come pick up, and Colleen comes out in the patio. She says, Terry, she says, the lights burned out on the patio. Any chance you can fix that before he goes? He says, suffering, Jesus, Colleen. She says, what do you think I am, an electrician? <laughs> no, boy, I got no time for that. I got no time for that. So anyway, he's <laughs> taking out his gear and getting it all ready, putting aboard the car and waiting for the boys and washing his bars like you would. <laughs> <laughs> So she says, the bathroom door is stuck. Any chance you can fix that where he goes golf in the day? He says, Colleen, my God, I gotta go, boy. What do you think I am, a freaking carpenter? Like, what's going on? I can't fix that. I got no time for that. I'm not a carpenter. So Colleen goes on anyway, and Terry goes on out in the garage again, getting the rest of his gear. Colleen goes up to Terry, she says, before he goes, she says, all this blood though. Any chance you're gonna go up there and have a look at it before he goes? And she says, Jesus Christ, Colleen, I got no time for that. We think I am a plumber. Like, I got no time for that, Colleen. I gotta go. So when Terry goes, boys comes up anyway, and Terry got his all the gears sorted out, his bars washed, like you would. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so poor old Colleen's sitting on the steps, eh, and she's kind of down in the dumps, eh. Next door neighbor shows up, yeah. Big Nice young fella, just like Johnny next door, eh? Beautiful young fella, eh? <laughs> she says, Miss Colleen, he said, What's wrong with you? Are you alright? She said, Boy, Terry's gang off in the day, left me here, the lights not working, the bottom door's stuck, tall's plugged up. He said, I can take care of all that for you. Don't even worry about it, I can take care of all that for you. So Terry gets home from golf, and anyway. And uh, Colleen says, What? Well, are you next door? He said, Come by and fix all the gear when you're gone. She said, Jesus Christ, Colleen, how much do you charge you for that? She says nothing. She said nothing. Said, what do you mean nothing? Said, well, I told him. I said, you know, you, you can, you can. Buddy said you can have sex with me, or I can bake you a cake. <laughs> Terry says, what kind of cake you make him? Should I look like fucking Betty Crocker to you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Terry boy. Sorry, my son. I had to get one poke at you tonight. Eh? He won't bike off no more. <laughs> no. Uh, where we do? A couple more signs do it was. This one goes out to Mr. Dalton Keeping. Little tune called The Cock of the North. The Cock of the North. Or up the leg of me drivers, whichever way you want to call it. Where do you do? Are you playing this more? Come on. Up the leg of drivers. Hey, lady, 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 I'm not sure where he's from. There you go, Dalton. He's on a little tune called The Cat of the Earth. Up the Lake of Midrunners.
That's pop lyrics, eh? Yeah, yeah. 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 He looks innocent, Craig. Good job, the pop. Happy birthday going up to Melissa. Happy birthday going up to Melissa. Benoit celebrating their 35th birthday on April the 7th. From your mom and dad, your nan and your pop, and your two fur babies, Jenny and Bailey. God, I love you, Miss Melissa. Benoit, we'll have a drink to you and a one, and a two, and a three. Sociable! people on there, boys, pop on there and tell you, tell us where you're from. And also go to Mr. Johnny Goche up there in heaven with all the boys there, see some Mario and all the crowd. There's a little tune called The Lonely Drum.
Teacher to do in religion class, eh? And she says, uh, teacher says, she said, you know, it's physically impossible for a whale to swallow a human. Little John's like, miss, 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 miss. She's in the Bible. She said, Jonah was swallowed by a whale, right? That's what it says, yep. And she says, Johnny, it's physically impossible for a whale to swallow a human, she said. They got a big mouth, but the throats are small, right? Not like Teen Torn. You look like a killed my son. Tina's already on her wrist. <laughs> but Johnny says, so the teacher's getting rotter with me. She says, uh, she says, uh, oh, jeez, I shaved it up. <laughs> She said, Johnny, a whale cannot swallow a human man. It's just physically impossible. So little Johnny said, well, well when I get to heaven, she said, he said, I'm going to ask Jonah. And the teacher goes, not cocky. Yeah, I asked her. She said, well, what about Jonah's in hell? She said, well, you can ask him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the answer. That's all I got. <laughs> Jordan, what do you got? Um, They'll hear you. Go ahead. Jim, did you know if you shake an imaginary salt shaker, you taste salt on your tongue? You shake an imaginary salt shaker on your tongue and taste salt. Can try, it, try it. Try it. Try it. Jordan. Jordan's tongue go home. <laughs> Dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> Let's go, George. You got another one? One more. One more. Um. I know you got a ton of them. Yeah. Clean one. Don't have to, don't have to clean. It's late. It's late. What kind of bees make milk? I don't know. Boobies. <laughs> this is Jordan Tarn, boys. The pride and joy of Cambridge, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> not fit, he's not, not fit. Uh, there's another tune going out to the lovely Sylvia Adams. How's the truth? Come on! No, I can't. Rumble, 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 rumble
Down there where the Boston Bruins are, somebody has sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your holes freezes over. Oh no, I mean God love you. <laughs> God love you. <laughs> but Paul, Lucy, Ryan, I hope you're still trying to make leaves, even though we're living down there in the <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love you all the same. From Cape Breton, and I wanted to do it right. So oh, Joe. Sends me any pictures with your Boston Bruins jersey on, you're blocked for life! <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. They're blocked for two months. <laughs> Here's a Lila Grant tune for you. We haven't done this in a little spell. We'll give her a go. Thanks, boys, for hanging out with us. Here's a little tune for you. We have a drink already. Let's have one and a two and a three. So, Jamo! A little Lolly Grant tune going up to you. God love you, boys. Do we have a drink already? Let's have a drink. I don't want to do one a drink. <laughs> we'll meet again, my friend, somewhere down the line. Who knows where or when? Another place, another time. There a few old songs, memories on my mind. Yeah, we'll meet again, my friends again, somewhere down the line. We'll meet again, my friends, somewhere down the line. Who knows where or when? Another place, another time. Bye. 
delivering for you. Where are you going, Romeo? One more song. Come on, boy. You can't hold it. Honest to God, you're worse than Polly Bennett. I got a little bit of a shower, so she might have to go. You got one more song to do, you, you sissy. I don't know. I just got a little, you know. <laughs> you get a little dribble on your toe? <laughs> Poor old Greg Dar got dribble on his toe. That means she had to go. <laughs> You're a potent don't know. <laughs> we have one more tune to do, boys. God love you for hanging out with us again tonight on a Saturday night. We got some shows coming up soon. I'm uh, not sure where, but I know they're coming up. I'm, I'm gonna need to know bass, and apparently I don't need to know it. <laughs> But look at the old Facebook page, Jim and Roll to Hotmail.com. He wants to get a hold of us, see what's going on, book us for a show, send us a little tick in the tip jar, you know what I mean? Don't be sending any naked titties, that's not allowed. <laughs> when it says tit in the tip jar, that's not, uh, send them to Greg Torn at Hotmail.com. <laughs> Jimmero to hotmail.com boys, you want to get a hold of some music or you want to uh, say uh, say hello or put a request in? Gotta get it in by Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> and we'll uh, get around the air for you, hopefully. God love you boys, thanks for hanging out with us. And a one, and a two, and a three. Ocho! Try not to one, four to one, just saying. And a one, and a two, and a three. Some Shabbat!